<laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome to Hit Results. My is, name is Kevin. My name is Will. This has never happened before. Yeah. My name is Will. Let me say that more enthusiastically. We have never, ever had to restart a podcast before, have we? No, we haven't. Like a redo? Until but... now. And we probably should have still, but we're not going to. It's we're too late for that. This is also the latest we've ever recorded. Yeah, 100%. Because life It's almost fucks. 3 in the morning. Yeah. Guys, I'm tired. Will is too. <laughs> Will just got off. Work, just to clarify. Work, sorry. Will just um. got off work. Um... <laughs> Yeah, not the fun kind. What are we talking about today, Kevin? Yeah, guys, so for today, actually, before we get into the schedule, I do want to mention really quickly, our Masters 25 giveaway ended this past what? Monday. Our winner on Instagram was Aether Vile. Congratulations. I do want to point out, we had almost 100 people enter this giveaway, which is awesome. I think yeah. that's our record. Uh, so you guys killed it. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to try and continue doing giveaways once a month, probably mm -hmm. towards the end of the month, um, slash beginning of the next month. So sort of in that transition. Uh, so we'll keep all of these going for you. They're going to switch between Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. You know. So. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, follow, all that jazz. Find us, And that way us. you're halfway there to all of the giveaways. Whoa. What? Anyway, the schedule for today, guys, we have our random card of the day. We're going to be talking a lot about just the state of It Resolves, where we're just, at, what yeah. we plan to do in the future. Um, of course, we have our question of the week, and then we'll finish up with our crack packs So, which in a few weeks, we actually get to switch. Thank and I am so excited. Freaking gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a little tired of Rivals. Not that Ixalan isn't fun. It's a good set. And I, I need more Merfolk. Because there's a Merfolk card in Dominaria that's gonna make yeah, Merfolk yeah. just bust. Merfolk is gonna be insane. Just not that it busted. already isn't amazing, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's okay, but it's not um, like yeah, yeah, it's not it's like not busted. dominating. But it could soon with Dominaria. Oh, wordplay, wordplay. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to our random card of the day in three, two, one. Dance of the Skywise. Oh, this is from Dragons cute. of Tute. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be great. Tark here. Uh, it is an instant for one and a blue. Until the end of a turn, target creature you control becomes a blue dragon illusion with mm -hmm. base power and toughness 4-4. Four, four, loses all abilities and gains flying. Uh, I get why this is uncommon. Yeah, definitely. Just because you can't, if you're drafting, you can't see this a Too lot. Too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't want a four a four of... Dance of the Skywise in any deck really would just be scary. Would well, be you can insane. play more than that in limited, so yeah, that's a really yeah. good point. Actually, at common, yeah. if you ended up with four or more of these, that mm -hmm. would be a little busted. Yeah, because <laughs> you can just turn any crappy one one into a four four flyer. Because who's gonna block a one one, bro? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like you can really you can use it as like a combat trick to kill an opponent's mm -hmm. creature, or you can use it just to deal a crap ton of damage really easily. Well, no, that's Which just that's what nice. I'm thinking. Is you get you have a bunch of cheap guys and whoever's mm -hmm. not blocked, which is you obviously going to be the yeah. I mean, yeah, they're not going to block the one one yeah. like you said. So I don't I know though. It's, it's pretty cool. In, in limited, it's great. Oh I would yeah, say. that's why it's uncommon. Is yeah, absolutely. It's great in limited. It's outside good. of limited, it's not. It's good in limited usable at all. <laughs> yeah, no. it's really terrible it's outside garbage of limited. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute booty. Yeah. Um. Just. Also interesting to note that mm -hmm. this is in blue. Um, mm -hmm. Blue tends to be the color that's not super aggressive. So I don't know. I mean, it's kind of interesting because a lot of the blue creatures have like some enter the battlefield ability. Sure. So to be able to turn those into a 4-4 four -four that actually deals some damage is good for sure. Um, I don't know. It's a little weird in blue, though, just because it's not generally the aggressive color, I feel like. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. I definitely. mean, it works. It gets blue there, which is good. But, mm -hmm. like, I just, you know, at red, this would be insane. I feel like more insane than at blue. I think red would just get, like, a 4-4 four, four flyer for something. I think why this works for blue is that you have to invest a whole other card to be mm -hmm. aggressive. Whereas, like, another color would just do it with a creature. That's fair. Right? You, yeah. need, you need to spend a whole other card on a creature you already have. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. blue's exhausting more things to be aggressive. So, I think That's it kind of works, you know? That's fair. It is it is a combat trick, basically. So, that, yeah, does, feel, essentially. that does feel weird for blue. Yeah, a bit. Um, um, anyway, interesting. Not bad, for sure. Yeah. Nothing insane, but yeah. pretty good. 
Um, so moving on, guys. We are going to talk about the state of It Resolves. We've yeah. joked before that we're ending, and this is our announcement. No. Um, <laughs> how many it. jokes about us ending the, the podcast three. can we make? That's, That's three. three. That's we're going to get more. Well, three episodes. <laughs> three episodes. I yeah. think potentially in a row. Um, no, we actually have a lot of changes coming mm -hmm. up that we just want to let you guys know about um, some ideas that we've had tossed at us that we want to implement. Um and some collaboration efforts that yeah, are going to be coming into exciting the future. Exciting things from other creators. Uh, with yeah, other, yeah. With other so, creators. the first thing that we wanted to talk about is that there are going to be some format changes that you'll notice mm -hmm. over the next few, mm -hmm. probably months, uh, two to three month range is what we are thinking, at least at this point. Yeah. Um, so, Will and I are both moving. Yes. Um, Will's yeah. not moving super far away, but then a month yeah. after he moves, I'm moving to a completely different city about three to four hours away. So yeah, a different state. Yeah, a different You'll state. You'll have to get a new license. It's going to be weird. New papers. New papers. New uh, license plate. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All that jazz. Tough stuff. Um, so <laughs> so <laughs> because things. of that, <laughs> human things, the stuff outside of wizards that actually makes sense. <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> screw all that crap. Anyway, <laughs> so because of that, we're not necessarily going to be able to meet every week in person right. to record these episodes, which right. means we're going to have to switch to a different format. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean we are ending the podcast. I know no. we've joked about it. We're not doing that. We probably. just have a different format. Probably. <laughs> we just have a different format in mind for how right. we're going to present these. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll probably see these look very different in the next few months. Just a yeah. heads up. Um, yeah. That's really the biggest thing that's going to be coming out of the move because this is really the biggest thing that we do collaboratively mm -hmm. for the channel. Occasionally we'll do one-off videos, but it's generally by ourselves. So um, the idea is that for this, we'll probably do something like a Discord or a Skype call and make that happen. Yeah, we'll figure, so, it. We'll figure that out. Don't you fret. Don't you worry about it. We will we continue can't our... this amazing podcast forever. <laughs> Until we are but dust. We can't do our super secret handshake before the thing. No, we can't. It's bummer. I wish you guys knew about it. You want to do it right now? No. Mm -hmm. Leave it a mystery. Question of the week. What do you think is our super? No. Uh <laughs> yeah, I think it's great. I think so, it's a great question. <laughs> a few content ideas, things that right. have been thrown at us, and also things that we've thought of. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so we want to start doing more deck techs again. Now, if you are OG... Oh yeah, listeners, you'll know that we <laughs> used to every like Monday. Yeah, I so think back when we made for, way too many. Videos. Yeah, so for anybody that doesn't know, the only reason we're at eighty-seven mm. now, episode eighty-seven, is because for the like first two three months somewhere yeah. in there, we did like four videos a week. Yeah, which was stupid. That it was, was really dumb. <laughs> it was summer break. I had like every day free. Yeah, it's like hey, we can just make so many. Let's do it. Let's make that happen. Let's make so yeah. many. And we could not sustain that. God also, no. on top of that, at the time, we didn't really do any editing on the video. It was literally, no. let's record audio, put our logo in a video, and then yeah. just have the audio playing. Even after that, man. Yeah, for a while, that yeah. was sort of the format. Then we started trying to up the quality and do all that stuff, <laughs> and that takes more time. So It does. It does. Um, it does. Yeah. So in that original right. state, we had a deck tech sort of podcast episode once a week where yeah. we took two decks one of them was user suggested and one was mm -hmm. one of us got to pick right uh and sort of put them against each other in terms of just looking at them and seeing how they fit into the meta and everything right and then we cycled through formats and all that jazz so it was a lot of fun uh it was, it was we very fun. unfortunately at the time decided not to continue it but right and that was partially due to the volume that we were yeah. putting on ourselves it was a little bit much oh, yeah <laughs> Oh, this is the Gronk episode. I just realized. The what? Ah, uh, you, Gronk. He's number eighty-seven. Don't worry about it, man. Pigskin is that a thing? Yeah, I was gonna make a reference at the beginning and I forgot to. Oh. I like sports. Congrats to Villanova. They won tonight. Yeah. You. Good job, you. <laughs> anyway. Um. um yeah. Right. So the plan for the deck tech episodes. Uh, we've got a few different ideas, but we're kind of landing on just a formatted similar to mtg goldfish something like that where we get to really highlight the deck yeah um, just keep it short sweet something that you can yep. that's not too complicated that exactly. you will really understand 
Yes. Um, I think we think that'd be the best way to do it. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Cool. Nothing too new, but hopefully featuring some new decks, and mm-hmm. that's really our goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, second death of all. Oh God. Would you? Second death. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I was gonna say second of all, but then I mixed it with something else. I don't know, man. No, keep going with the podcast, buddy. <laughs> You're doing great. We wanted to do gameplay. Um, <laughs> Will. Oh yeah, you're making this difficult. Anyway, <laughs> what he's trying to say, second of all, we have gameplay that we would like to record. Both on MTGO and MTG Arena, uh, which I've been playing a lot of and are it's kind of fun. I really like Arena. Yeah, um, um, I have I have seen folks play Arena. I have stayed away from it. Yeah, because it's just an, I have my own qualms, sure problems, but um, a lot of people you don't want to play Hearthstone. It. I get it. Um, a lot of people are enjoying it, and it is magic, and magic is always fun. It is. So yeah, that's yeah. Cool. Um, I will say um, the Hearthstone kind of. Thing bothered me at first because yeah. they just i mean it's literally hearthstone just magic um <laughs> like you know what i mean but um i kind of forget about that when i'm actually playing it because mm-hmm. the game itself is so different from hearthstone sure. in terms of the complications that come with magic that are not necessarily in hearthstone it being a good game yeah basically um and so i have grown to really enjoy it cool um i'm everybody knows i'm not a standard player so it's not my favorite thing in the world but it is actually pretty fun and it's nice to just be able to sit down and play a game um and not have to go through a terrible looking interface (laughs) right so uh my plan is to start recording some arena videos as soon as i can um and maybe get those up for you guys as soon as possible just give some variety we've touched on gameplay before we actually Mm -hmm. had a couple you've heard us talk about parks and alex um and they did gameplay for us before unfortunately due to special circumstances for some stuff like that life basically uh they're not able to do that at least not right this minute so that leaves it up to you and i all right so i'll leave it up to you yeah basically that leaves it up to me (laughs) Um, so hopefully we can get some actual gameplay up there for you guys. But in addition, and sort of in the same vein as this, we want to do post-game commentary. Yeah, this excites me. This is a big one for us. Uh, somebody actually mentioned this to us on the Magic the Gathering Facebook group, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, and we basically asked the question, what did you guys want to see? And somebody brought this up and we think it's a great idea. It's awesome. Um, Taking games that are actually really, really complicated and really, really interesting and breaking those down Mm -hmm. and explaining the intricacies of how the, the players I would imagine are thinking at that time and, uh, working through strategies and things like that. Those are things that we really think would be helpful Mm -hmm. for everybody. And this is, this is something we would do together Mm -hmm. before it resolves when we watch yeah um pro tours GPs, GPs, whatever we throw it up on kev's tv yeah and we eat goldfish and talk i don't know we just hang out and watch basically yeah yeah um so this is this is cool for me because it it feels like we're just hanging out the first time (laughs) whatever uh yeah Yeah, it was like the very first time. Um, so we're really excited about that one. We have plans yeah. to start recording that hopefully soon. Mm-hmm. So um, again, some variety of content. Hopefully the goal for It Resolves from the very beginning was to appeal to both new and old players. Mm-hmm. And something like post-game commentary can really appeal to both while also being just very helpful in general to anybody, which I think is great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a new player can go into it and say, I really don't get what's going on here, but maybe they pick up a few little tidbits here and there and then get better and better. An experienced player may look at a play on a pro tour level and think, man, I would have done this, but let me see why they did something else or something. And so hopefully our goal is to express that in the best way that we possibly can, understanding we are not pro players and we will miss things. Um, oh for sure so but yeah. that's part of it so we just yeah. wanted to bring that to you guys hopefully to help you guys out mm-hmm. be better mm-hmm. players all that jazz um the last thing and this is something that i think really pertains more to you than me is uh playing yeah. other games so yeah um i think this bothers will a bit more than it bothers me which is funny but what does 
I think Will doesn't like the idea of being pigeonholed too much. That's true. Into a particular market. It's true. And I love magic is a particular market. I love all of you. I don't like him, but I love all of you. And magic's fun. You know what's more fun? <laughs> nah, you know what's almost as fun? <laughs> <laughs> Other games are almost as fun. So yeah, we we don't only play magic. Yeah. Um, we have tried... I have tried to stream mm-hmm. other things. I tried to stream StarCraft once upon a time. I streamed is... Pokemon. Yeah. That was fun. That's the thing. Um, I should yeah. do that again. You should. It was yeah. great. We don't always play Magic. Yeah. Um, and I'm, we are still trying to figure out ways to bring other nerd pursuits, I'll, for lack of a better word, other gaming <laughs> pursuits to you guys, just because it's something that we do. Um, and I feel like sharing. I don't think enough play, people play StarCraft. I don't think enough people play movies. Pokemon. No, enough people play Pokemon. Yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, it's like, to stop. There are, there are tons of middle schools full of people who play Pokemon. Yes. And, and yeah. Kevin. And Kevin. I, I love <laughs> Pokemon, too. I can't lie. Pokemon's great. I ain't bashing Pokemon. I, I shouldn't. That's a... No, no. Uh, Pokemon's great. Um, but, yeah, we wanted to bring other other games yeah, you know, I mean, to the forefront. The thing about it, and I think the, the take we're the approach we're kind of trying to plan for this is it's sort of like a day off kind of thing from magic yeah um so can't always talk about magic yeah it's like okay we talk about magic most days of the week as of right this Mm. second we have our podcast episode and then three crack a packs not to mention anything else that goes up generally about magic yeah giveaway stuff all that so to have a day maybe where we have content going up that's not necessarily related to magic is just sort of a chance for us to get out of this and just say, look, I just want to play something else for a little bit, not yeah. worry about it. And that's fine. I think, I mean, everybody hopefully plays more than just magic. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I so, play magic. Your brain um, will melt. It's as much for us as it is for you, to be honest, I think, because it Definitely. gives us a little bit of a break. It's kind of like this episode, honestly. A little it's bit. Just yeah, it's just to chill and hang Thanks out. Thanks for talk. indulging us. Yeah, honestly, little, for this one. Bit. A little bit. Um, a lot of it but yeah so hopefully you guys do enjoy that though obviously it's not magic related so i understand if it's not your favorite but that's okay i'm not no no. he put no um (laughs) talk about that then (laughs) can't believe you did that um anything else will suggestion um let's see anything else yeah um Aside from the three things you had to delete. <laughs> I can bring them back. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Um, that was really it. We're um, we're evolving again. Again. I, think, I don't think we've had an episode like this in like 40 It's been episodes. a long time. Um, but yeah, we're changing again. So if you care to stick around. We, we, we only go up, guys. Um, all the way up. Yeah. I'm all over genres tonight, man. You are. We're really classic rock and hip hop so far. Quick, give, um, me, give me another phrase I can spin into a song. Go. I'm putting that on you. Anyway. Um, <laughs> nah, I got yeah, nothing. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> if you were going to pull something out of that. Normally you would. Um, another thing I mentioned and we hinted at also. I still try. <laughs> is, <laughs> you're still going to be. Um, we do have, and I won't put names out there quite yet, just because right. um, we're still finalizing a few yeah. things. We and we have discussions. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, we don't want to put anybody's name out there also that yeah. doesn't necessarily want it out quite yet. But um, we do have an individual we're planning to work with as well as Grand Slam in particular. I will put Grand Slam's name out there, who we've worked mm-hmm. with before. Um, yeah, love Grand Slam. They're awesome. Um, they've had uh, new ownership over the last few months, and they are doing a fantastic job. Yeah. You went in there for the first time, I believe, in a while the other day, didn't you? No. You didn't? No. Okay, never mind. Um, I did not. Anyway, they have renovated like crazy. Uh, mm-hmm. It's beautiful in there, honestly. They've got like a little lounge area. Like, it's great. Um, you said there's a lounge. They, there's like futons and like a little table there. It's so just it's nice. Futon? Yeah, yeah. Um, Mon ami. I know. What? Oh. A lounge. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> so, we plan to work with Grand Slam as well as our other individual very mm-hmm. soon and announce that. Our hope is to have our other individual, our nameless man. A mystery man. Our mystery man. Uh, we <laughs> hope to have him on the actual podcast once or twice. 
Um, he's uh, he seems like a great guy. He's very invested in building up the local community, especially which which is great is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's mm-hmm. it's hopefully going to be a push that our community could use, and hopefully you yeah. guys can benefit from also. So right, that's the plan. Yeah, that is the plan. And that excites um, us. It is exciting. A great deal. I just want to point out too that like we've been at this for almost a year now, and like less than a month oh, it'll yeah. be a year. Um, guys, we've done a lot in a year. <laughs> I mean, we've put out a lot of content, and yeah. you know we've grown a good bit. We're not huge, but we've grown and. Hopefully we've grown in your hearts. Hopefully. Um, no, but I I just want to point out, yeah, I know, like, sad string thing. Keep going, keep going. I just want to point out how much I appreciate everybody's support. Keep going. That's it. No, this is, keep going. It still means a lot. Um, yeah. Anything else? I'm just <laughs> no, but. Who can say where the grow go? Are you done? Sorry. Uh, such a weird episode. Yes. In the best way. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Cut me some slack. No, but I, from both of us to you guys, we really appreciate all the support that you've given yeah. us. Um, Don't let my jovial joking nature diminish. Hopefully that's what you like about this episode, because there's not much else. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully my... Cr- ooh, almost... Nope. Almost said a swear, and nope. we don't do that here. Okay. Okay. Do you want to acknowledge? What? Oh, okay, nothing. Go ahead. Acknowledge what? Nothing. Go ahead. Acknowledge what? I thought that was what you were segueing into. Last week, I think? Oh, I definitely said a yeah. swear last week. We like to stay family friendly so that anyone can find us, but some. I am a bro, obviously. So we're in a tank I'm top. I'm in a friggin' tank top. <laughs> um, yeah. Pasty. I'm very pasty. You are kind of pasty. I'm, dude. I am like, if you were to marry eggshells and glue and yeah. like take that color, what's happening to this give podcast it episode? <laughs> It'd be Will. Yeah. It's be Will White. Will Whiten. <laughs> it's my new D and D name. <laughs> Will White. Will Whiten. Will Whiten. I'm just, I'm just a sheep with cool whip. <laughs> anyway, what were you gonna say? <laughs> we were gonna talk about the question of the week. Because yes, we I were. forgot what, it, what I was going to um, say. So moving on to the question of the week. Yep. Uh, this past time, in the last episode, we talked a little bit about the brawl mm-hmm. format. Mm-hmm. Uh, unrelated, well, not unrelated. We also posted an article on our website. Mm-hmm. So it goes in a little bit more detail about what brawl is and things like that. If mm-hmm. you wanted to check that out, please do. It resolves mtg.com. It resolves. Shameless plug. Magic Gathering. Um, anyway, we asked you guys, what do you think of the new Brawl format? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you on the fence about it? Um, we had a few people who were on the fence, but uh, kind of unsurprisingly, the majority of people seem to be kind of against it. Yeah. Um, I, I'll i say this. There were definitely some people also who loved it, so it's not all bad, just to clarify. Okay. But I... After our episode, I, I took some time to go and... I'm stretching my knee and not kicking the camera. Look at me. Um, I'm so proud. I know. It'll happen every other time. <laughs> uh, did you edit it out, by the way? No. Great. I never do. Sweet. Uh, what was I saying? Brawl. Brawl. Um, I, I took some time to read up more about Brawl. I also sat in on the Facebook Live uh, magics, like, here, introduction to Brawl. This is what mm-hmm. it's about. Um, and it is kind of... It doesn't seem quite as bad to me anymore, I'll say. I think it would be fine. It doesn't seem as much of a cash grab yeah. either. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's like, really just because it's a smaller smaller format than Commander, yeah. honestly. Um, I was not having gone into it, like, not having learned about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was much different than it actually is. And it seems doable now. Um, not quite as money-grabby. It did seem like, and I touched on this in the article, it did seem mm-hmm. a little bit like a marketing ploy to sell Dominaria. Um, oh, definitely. And so, and the issue that I brought up is like, it's speculati- It's speculating. Oh my God. Guys, it's three. Uh, it's speculating to say that they made up this format just to push Dominaria. Um, but it's also like, okay, I could kind of see where that comes from. Well, no, 100%. But like, but but the thing is the the reason that they cited that they created brawl 
yeah. was because they wanted to give casual players a way to play with their standard collection that mm -hmm. they pick up either an F and M or something like that. Sure. And so it gave people who had just one ofs and not like playing out to play standard competitively, it gave them a use for these standard cards and yeah. made it a little bit more fun, which I think is great. Whether or not that's true or not, people are speculating on and thinking, well, they actually just want to push Dominaria. That's the only reason they're doing this. It's going to die out afterwards or something like that. Yeah. I think either way, you're if you're on either side of that, it's kind of speculating because honestly, unless you were on the marketing team who made up Brawl, do you really know for sure? You know what I mean? Sure. And so it's like, it's sort of a chicken egg problem, which came first. Did yeah. the set come first and then they tried to push it or did the format well, come and then this set just happened to sort of... I'll say knowing, listening to Randy Bueller's, not Randy Bueller's, wow, <laughs> Mark Rosewater. There you go. His Drive to Work podcast, <laughs> Randy Bueller. I like him. But yeah, Randy's a cool guy. Not who makes the podcast. Listening to Drive to Work as as much as I do, I'm an avid listener, religious almost. Uh, <laughs> he talks about how far in advance they design sets, and it's like years. Oh yeah, so at least two. Is set definitely came I first, I in my opinion. Yeah, but even let's say even if they did just think of this, like how can we get more people to be interested in the set? They're excited about the set. Yeah, it's bringing a lot of new things to Magic. That's it's fair. Bringing some old things back to Magic. They want people to play with this because, like, it's Dominaria. It's mm -hmm. the first freaking plane. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing to say that they made this just to push Dominaria. Mm -hmm. Even if they did, like, it's a, it's a cool set, man. Yeah, it is a cool set. Right? I think Dominaria honestly didn't need Brawl to sell it because I think it's a great set. But we but have Brawl, Brawl to play hopefully with. Hopefully helps it. Right, exactly. Um, so, yeah. It's... I am not. I'm. I'm not super pumped about Brawl. No. Um, I will. Tr I'm more. I'm warmed up to it more. I'll probably play it more now. Well, we've said before we'll probably test it. Uh, yeah. Um. So most yeah. likely you'll see a stream or something where Will and I go at it and see how it goes. But. Oh yeah. All right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You know, I oh, just crap. Like, where's my ring? I wanted to I tell took you, it off at work. That's I wanted right. to tell you something. So yeah. you guys can ignore this. Yeah, um, talk about yourself. <laughs> talk about yourself. Um, somebody I posted our podcast episode because I generally do this. I post it mm -hmm. in the giant Magic the Gathering Facebook group. Cool, cool, cool. If you're cool, part cool. of that, that's great. Maybe you've seen Kevin Lipsy post things on there. That's me. I have a silly Facebook photo. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I really do. Um <laughs> Anyway, I had somebody yep. comment back mm -hmm. on the post, which generally people are like, cool, I'll check it out or something like that. Yeah. Half the time we don't get anybody commenting back. It's just like a couple people liking it or something. Naturally. But I had somebody comment back and they said, I tried, but I couldn't get past the laughing in the beginning. Do you remember last <laughs> And you told me to leave it in? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Like 50% of our podcast is just us laughing. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, definitely don't post this one on the page. This is a... Ooh. Oh, this is a mess. This is a trip. Oh, yeah. no. Um, Sorry, one person. Why'd you post that one? Because I always post uh, it. Oh, you always do? Yeah. Oh, skip this episode. No. This is going <laughs> right on the top. I will post this like... 50 times in a row just so people know i'm just gonna be the only one to like that's fine let's go like all of them um I our question of the week this coming week guys um is just basically what kind of content do you most look for or, uh in a youtube channel so what kinds of things do you want to see from us what kinds of content do you want us to create um just what should we stop doing should i cut my hair yeah that's what's on my should mind. i shave my beard Guys, I'm never going to shave my beard. <laughs> if we get to <laughs> by the end of the year, what's your the number, year? Kev? What's your number, Kev? A thousand? It'd be a lot more than a thousand. <laughs> Two thousand. <laughs> I'm not shaving my beard. If we get to 1,500 subscribers, I will knock this guy out and shave his beard. <laughs> no. Not I either. will roofie Kevin and shave his beard. <laughs> Anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, what yes, kind of yes, content yes. do you guys want to see? You suck. Definitely that. <laughs> Let's move what to packs. What if they all say that? Let's move to packs. Let's do that. 
What's your goal card, Will? Um, to survive Ixalan enough to get to Dominaria. <laughs> also Galta, the big scary dinosaur lady. Mine's Nezahal, the other big scary dinosaur. I don't know if mine's a lady. I don't think so. I don't know. Mine's definitely a lady. Well, I didn't get Galt or <laughs> Nezahal, but I got a pretty good card. Oh, I got an awesome one. I actually got a couple of really good cards. Um, so my rare is actually a mythic. I got a Linda. Oh, hey! Uh, which is kind of just amazing. I also got Ravenous Chupacabra, which is kind of insane. Um, What's your pick? You know, it's actually kind of close for me. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I'm going to explain this out a little bit because I do think this is kind of important. So, you know me, first picking a gold card is always a little, like, because it does kind of be, it's like, I'm now in this. Right. Because I'm, I picked the, you know, like, you kind of mm -hmm. force yourself into it. You can't it. go into more than... Not really. Two, um, exactly. That being said, there are definitely ways. I think Evolving Wilds and stuff is in here, so you can definitely, like, mm -hmm. you know, get it's there. It's got help, yeah. Um, if you have to splash. But Alinda's definitely a va vampire card, so that does kind of yeah. really pigeonhole you into that. Yep. On the other hand, Ravenous Chupacabra is just black, which means it can go into any black deck, and it's, like, the best uncommon in the set. Yeah. It's, um, it might be, like, top five for limited. Yeah. It's insane. Um... I don't know, honestly. I kind of... Like, the conservative pick is definitely the Chupacabra. But I think mm -hmm. I would take Alinda just because... Alinda's amazing. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, I think I would too. Um, um, she gives you a lot more than the Chupacabra does, even yes. though Chupacabra's removal. Yes. Alinda gives you, like, reasons to remove stuff, right? She puts yeah. counters on guys when they die. Uh, whenever another creature dies, put a 1-1 one -one counter on Alinda. When Alinda mm -hmm. dies, create X-1-1 one -one vampire creature right. tokens with lifelink. That's right. X is her power, by the way. Right. Um, um, cool. So, yeah. Definitely powerful. Sweet. So, I got Dire Fleet Prisoner. Oh. One of my favorite cards from the set. Yeah. Uh, flash, Death Touch. When it enters, give a thing, plus one, plus one, and then it gains Death Touch. It's it's the cheapest removal in the set. We talked yeah, about it. we've talked about that. Um, At length, actually. Yeah, and I like it a lot. So, that's obviously the pick. But the <laughs> other ones, for me, I don't know why I put that there. It's not that. Yeah, I don't know why either. Um, Water Knot, I love my blue removal. Blue removal. It's great. Um, Helps you get Ascend. Majestic Heli Heliopteris. Heliopteris also is good. <laughs> sure. Because Flyers in Limited yeah, yeah, yeah. are sweet. Um, but it's definitely Dire Fleet Poisoner. Dire Fleet Poisoner is sweet. It's way better it's really good. than any of it. It's all in mm, yeah, yeah. It's, it's dope. Play with it. It's good. These are actually pretty good packs. They're great packs. Man's... I mean, I got a Water Knot, but it's not anywhere near... Chupacabra or Alinda. I was kind of trying to make a pun with Water Knot. I couldn't think of anything. Probably because it's three. <laughs> it's now after three. <laughs> ten after. As you said that, <laughs> it turned to ten after. Guys, we apologize greatly for this weird episode. <laughs> Hopefully you guys learn to enjoy it. I wish I remembered what like the last line from a midsummer night's dream is because it would fit perfectly here it's like if if um we few players have offended or something like that um it's real good shakespeare's cool guys yeah he's cool likes to shake it out a lot no he doesn't spear some things no well depending on how you take <laughs> Family friendly. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of It Resolves. Again, we appreciate all the support. We hope yeah. you guys will stick through all of these changes and hopefully all this new content. And uh, if you made it this far, it. dude, go get yourself Honestly, a, go get yourself a snack. You can shave my beard. <laughs> I made it through. <laughs> guys, we're gonna get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Resolves. Resolves.